Hey guys, Evil Genius4545 here, back with more Let's Play Magic Zooey. In the last episode, we finished off the board game and started the credits. It took me a little while to figure out how exactly to pause the game, so you might have missed just a tiny bit of the credits, but it's not really that big a deal. They're just, well, of course, talking about the people that made the game, basically showing off characters in the game. Uh. I don't really know what to talk about right now, so I'm just gonna kinda sit back, take a break, and let you guys watch the credit. You can skip all this if you want, it's not really gonna be interesting. Maybe I'll throw in something. If I can figure out how to throw it in, I'll let you guys skip. Alright guys, that's actually the end of the credits, now we've pretty much just got a cutscene of our heroes of the game running back to their house to celebrate. Cause who wouldn't want to celebrate after an adventure like that? You just saved your house and your sister. 
Not the world. Nothing, nothing as great as that. But still great. Now we can watch their party. Some rockin' music. Yep. What? You didn't beat anybody. That was all us. All us. Yes, yes we did. I like their sunglasses. They look like those sunglasses that you get from the, uh, what's it called? The eye doctor. After you get your eyes checked out, they give you the sunglasses that just kind of wrap, wrap up. I like how her telling him that it makes him put on about 50 pounds and break the chair. Doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Yep, now we're gonna run off back to Grunty's lair. And conveniently get placed right back here. And now we just get to walk up these stairs and follow Grunty to where she went. Into this place. You remember this, right? From the very beginning of the game? And now we're here. And so is Pothead. Sup, Pothead. Another Pothead. Alright. I uh, don't think there's anything important in this room, right? Window. Extra life. I don't care about you. Let's just go through the door. The door is what I care about. Alright. Let's see. Locked door. Don't want you. I'll go look in you in a second. Let's just do this. Alright. And we are left with six jiggies left. We filled out that picture. I wonder what those last six jiggies could possibly be used for. Maybe we'll find out sometime in the near future. First, we're gonna come in here and murder this guy for no apparent reason, because there's really actually no reason. Well, now I have a reason. I need health, because he hurt me. I'm such a failure. Alright, either way, that was all that was in that room. I guess they're just kind of putting that in there because, well, it wouldn't make sense if there wasn't a, uh, a room for that. I mean, they show it off. But yes, if we open these note doors here, there is a giant golden feather in here. And if we grab that, it automatically fills our golden feathers up all the way. And that is absolutely amazing. You can probably guess what this egg thing does. I actually don't think we need eggs, do we? I'll grab it anyways. Yeah, we've had maxed eggs for quite a while now. Now we'll open this door. It's probably going to have red feathers. So I lied. It's not going to have red feathers. I wonder what could be in this door. What's this? Our last six jiggies, perhaps? Yes. Yes, it is. Oh, wait. Wait, I still have two. Why do I... Well, oh, whatever. But yes, if we use that, as you can see, our health is now red. Basically what that means is we have exactly twice as many Jiggies. So basically if I get hit once, I'll have to go through all the red, um, did I say Jiggies? I'll have to go through all the red honeycombs and then my yellow honeycombs again. So that's a pretty amazing upgrade. I really like this place. There's a lot of really nice stuff here. And of course, now we actually have our red feather. Which I desperately need, because if you remember in Click Clock Wood, I was completely out of feathers. I could have sworn 200 was the max. Whatever. Let's go talk to this guy. Yeah, yeah. You, you, you talk, right? There we go. Yeah, so they're going to talk about how bad he smells. He's going to be all happy that he has visitors, because he never has visitors. And then Kazooie is going to be the complete ass that she always is, and... Make fun of people, but since he is dumb, he didn't understand what she said, and he just kind of covered up what she said. He called me Mr. Bear. And then he talks once again about how she threw up inside of him, which is not fun. Not fun at all. See these filthy clothes I've got? When I've won, you'll wash the lot. I wouldn't want to wash my clothes in that. That's disgusting. What's wrong with you? But yep. She is up on the roof. And we need to get onto the roof. 
And apparently our only way to get onto the roof is to jump into Barf Pot here. Unfortunately, I think I'm probably out of time. I forgot to start my timer this time, but I probably am out of time. I'm just going to stop the recording here. That next episode will be the last episode. Well, actually, I don't know if it'll be the last episode. I gotta th think whether or not I want to do some extra videos. We'll see. Either way, I'll see you guys there. Thanks for watching.